This is the Toyota GR Corolla. It uses lots of bits from the amazing GR Yaris, and it even has some exclusive upgrades you don't get on that car. Does this mean it's a better hot hatch than a Volkswagen Golf R? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it. Buy, sell, car, wow. The new Toyota GR Corolla looks great. The designers obviously took inspiration from the GR Yaris, but that's definitely a good thing. Not that I'm biased or anything. Both cars have a massive square grille at the front with some extra intakes on each side. But the Corolla's angular headlights and extra bonnet vents make it look even angrier than the little GR Yaris. It doesn't quite look as cool as that car from the side though, mainly because it has a five door body instead of the bespoke three door you get on the GR Yaris. There are some extra vents behind the front wheels that don't come on the hotted up Yaris though kind of BMW style events. And you also get a set of 18 inch lightweight alloy wheels as standard. The GR Corolla has a really meaty body kit with even bigger flares than you get on the GR Yaris. There's also a set of chunky side skirts with a big GR4 logo on the side. This gives you a big clue about one of the GR Corolla's coolest features. I'll tell you exactly more about that in a bit. My favorite angle of this new Corolla though is the back. Just look at that massive wing. And it isn't just for show, it works with all the car's vents and it's flat underfloor to increase stability at high speed, just like on a racing car. The boxy wheel arches look like they came straight off the latest Corolla Touring Car too. But the coolest feature is the exhaust. This new GR Corolla goes one further than the GR Yaris and comes with three exhaust tips, just like a Honda Civic Type R or a Ferrari F40. And yes, they are real. Thank goodness for that. The standard Toyota Corolla comes with a few sensible 1.8 and 2 litre petrol hybrid engines. The new GR Corolla gets a much smaller 1.6 litre turbocharged 3 cylinder petrol engine, but don't worry, it's much more powerful than the hybrid models. It's based on the 261 horsepower engine from the GR Yaris, but in this case it makes 300 horsepower and 370 newton metres of torque. That's almost 40 horsepower more than the Yaris and 116 horsepower more than the next most powerful Corolla. This extra power comes from a completely new exhaust system. Yes, the GR Corolla's fancy 3 tick muffler isn't just for show. It's it's part of a completely new exhaust system that's been designed to produce exactly the right amount of back pressure. Toyota says this helps the engine make more power, but it also makes the engine quieter. What? But that's the last thing they needed to do. The GR Yaris is already pretty subdued in the sound department. Mm. Oh well, you can bet Toyota will play some fake engine noise inside the cabin to make you feel a bit better. And to be fair, the fake engine noise in the GR Yaris isn't exactly terrible. The new GR Corolla's interior looks pretty similar to the one you get in a normal Toyota Corolla hybrid, at a glance anyway. There are a few important differences. You get a set of new faux leather sport seats with red stitching and snazzy GR branded headrests. There's also a new sportier steering wheel with more GR badges. And you get a brand new 12 inch digital driver's display instead of the normal car's small seven inch screen. The 18th central touchscreen also has been given an upgrade for the GR Corolla and comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. The best part of the interior is right in the center console though. No, nope, it's not the manual gear lever, although I'll tell you more about that in a bit. It's the manual handbrake. Yes, you'll be able to do proper handbrake turns in the new GR Corolla, just like you can in the baby GR Yaris. The most important upgrade Toyota has given the new GR Corolla is a four wheel drive system, hence the GR4 name. This system is very similar to the one you get in the GR Yaris, so it can send different amounts of power to the front and rear wheels, depending on the driving mode you put it in. In normal mode, it sends 60% of the engine's power to the front wheels and 40% to the rear. In track mode, it splits the difference 50-50 front and back. However, if you put the car in sports mode, it then sends 70% of the power to the rear wheels. And if that sounds like your kind of fun, you'll want to check out the performance pack upgrade. That gives you a limited slip differential on both the front and the rear axle. The new Toyota GR Corolla comes as standard with a manual gearbox and there is no automatic available. It's very similar to the gearbox you get in the GR Yaris, so it has six speeds and a very short throw. It also comes with rev matching as standard, so you can nail perfect downshifts without actually having to learn to heel and toe. However, if the pedal layer is similar to that in the GR Yaris, it's rather hard to do. Anyway, the new GR Corolla uses lots of weight saving materials, just like the GR Yaris. For example, the bonnet and front door panels are made of aluminium and it comes with a carbon fiber roof as well. 
This doesn't just help save weight, it also helps lower the car's center of gravity, which makes it more maneuverable at high speeds. The best thing about it is that unlike on the GR Yaris where the carbon fiber is covered up with a fake carbon fiber wrap for some reason, it's actually proper exposed carbon fiber. This means you can show it off to other people without them thinking that you've had your car wrapped badly. And it's not just ordinary woven carbon fiber either, it's forged carbon fiber like you get on a Lamborghini Performante. Toyota hasn't confirmed any performance stats for the new GR Corolla, but it'll probably be just as quick as the GR Yaris. This is because the Corolla has more power, though it is a bit heavier. Despite all those lightweight components, the new GR Corolla still weighs almost 1,500 kilos, which is around 200 kilos heavier than the GR Yaris. Now, if you want to see how quick the GR Yaris is from 0 to 60, here's me doing a launch. That was good. Got a 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. Not bad really, and you can bet the Corolla will be just as quick as that. Granted, it's a bit slower than what you can get from a Volkswagen Golf R, which is this quick. Oh, that's quick. 4.03! But of course, the Golf does benefit from a dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control, so it's easier to launch. The new GR Corolla borrows plenty of stuff from the GR Yaris, but not its chassis. The GR Yaris has a completely different chassis from any other Toyota. It's completely bespoke because Toyota wanted to turn the normal five-door Yaris into a lighter, stiffer three-door car to compete in the World Rally Championship. Now, this is really expensive to do. You basically have to design a whole new car. So Toyota hasn't done the same with the GR Corolla. It's still a five-door like the normal car, but it does have loads of new welds and some extra structural adhesive to glue its body shell together. This means the new GR Corolla is much stiffer than the regular car, and this should help improve handling, especially on bumpy surfaces. Toyota has given the GR Corolla a couple of serious suspension and brake upgrades. You get new springs, dampers, and anti-roll bars all round. And there's a new double wishbone suspension system at the back to help accommodate the GR's four-wheel drive system. The Toyota has also given the car some upgraded brakes. You get four piston calipers at the front with 356 mm discs and two piston calipers with 297 mm discs at the rear. The new GR Corolla will go on sale later this year, but Toyota hasn't said how much it'll cost. You can get a good idea by looking at the price of the GR Yaris though. That costs just over £30,000, which is about £10,000 more than a normal Yaris, and it's an extra £3,500 if you want the circuit pack. The normal Corolla costs just over £25,000, so it's a safe bet that the new GR Corolla will set you back at least £35,000, although because the GR Yaris has been so insanely popular, Toyota might decide to push the price up a bit further still. You might end up paying £40,000 for it, which is the same price as a Volkswagen Golf R. The price isn't the biggest problem though. Toyota has confirmed it won't sell the new GR Corolla in the UK or Europe. Why not? What are you thinking? Anyway, if you're thinking about changing your car, then you probably need to sell your current one. And to do that, you can check out CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a good price for it. If you want to do that now, just click on the box. Alternatively, if you want to watch some other videos, click on the windows. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.